Hi everybody, welcome to my vlog. My name is Kate. I'm an operating room nurse, soon to be labor and delivery nurse, and I am here to give you tips on how to pass nursing school and your NCLEX. So if you are about to be in nursing school, you are in nursing school, or you just graduated nursing school and you're about to take your NCLEX, please watch this video because these are things that helped me pass nursing school with straight A's. I made Dean's List and pass the NCLEX in 75 questions, the first try. So if you're interested, please keep watching. So I would say the number one thing that helped me save time was quitting flashcards. So before nursing school, the only way I would study, period, is if I would write flashcards like on index cards, you would write all your information down. That way you can flip it and rapidly study. Like you flip front and back and it, Helps your memory. However, if you are in nursing school, you know that sometimes you don't have time to like sit there and write out all your notes and then you have to study. It's like an extra step to just simply study. So I would say even though you're used to a studying method, you really want to switch up your study method in nursing school to be more valuable of your time. So instead of making flashcards, the first semester I did that of nursing school and it was really hard because I feel like Half of my time I wasn't really studying, I was just making the tools to study. So I did pass my first semester of nursing school with straight A's, but I felt like I was working harder and not smarter and studying not as much as I could have been. So in nursing two, my second semester, I decided to try something different. So, and this helped me throughout all of nursing school. I never went back. So I quit flashcards. And I started in lectures, I would bring my laptop and for my nursing school, they would give you the PowerPoint presentations online. So you can print them, you can edit them on your own time. So I would make sure to save all of my PowerPoints to Keynotes, which if you have a MacBook, that's our PowerPoint. You can use regular PowerPoint though too, you don't have to have a MacBook, but I would take all of my notes on the PowerPoint. So during lecture, instead of sitting there and writing notes as fast as possible, I would just simply type them all on the PowerPoint slide itself. So you know how you can have like presenter notes, you can put it there, or you can actually click the PowerPoint and edit on the PowerPoint. But since I'm a little OCD, I like to put them in my presentation notes. That way I can just read word for word what the professor said. Because I would try to, another crazy thing, I would try to write down word by word everything the professor said and memorize it for every test and i think that's really how i passed nursing school you just have to know exactly what they say it's crazy and it's a lot and it's stressful but you can do it and i really think you guys should start taking notes on powerpoints because then when you go to print it out you can print out like i think what i did was i printed out like I think it was like four was the max you can print out with the presentation notes or something like that but I used to print it out with my notes on the bottom of each slide so that would really help me because I could read what was on the PowerPoint read what the professor stressed during the lecture and then I would study based off what the professor was highlighting because usually they highlight and they talk about certain topics if they're going to be on the exams so that is definitely my number one thing save your time switch your study method start taking notes directly on your PowerPoints and study based off your PowerPoints. The next one that helped me do this all efficiently was buying a recorder. So this is definitely something you need to ask your professor about. But in my nursing school, you can bring a little recorder, which I should have pulled it out. I still have it. It's in my desk, but it's like a little handheld thing. And you can just press record. You can record all your lectures. You can go back home upload them to your computer, or you can just play it off the recorder. But I like to do that because sometimes, actually every time after class, I would go back and listen to the recording and make sure I typed everything. So this I don't think was a waste of my time because for me, I'm an auditory learner. So I need to hear things a million times for me to really memorize it. Whereas some people can see something and they're like, oh, I'll just memorize that. I need to just keep hearing it. So I would listen to my recording once, make sure all my finalized notes were there, and then I would study off of my PowerPoints. But definitely bringing a recorder, a voice recorder, really helped me with, you know, taking my notes. 
Um, another thing that I highly recommend, sorry, I'm just getting over actually the rhinovirus because my um, niece and nephew had it. So I'm sorry if I sound like a little nasally <clears throat> or stuffy, but the next thing I would recommend is buying a small whiteboard. So this I would also do before test. So basically you can get them at Target for like, I think seven to $10, but they're just whiteboards, like the size of a printer paper that type of a whiteboard, you would buy your little markers. And while you're studying out loud, I think it's great to write things down because repetition helps me so much, whether it's keeping on writing it, like getting that mechanical movement in your hand, like just really helps me because you're more focused on like, what am I really writing? So I would have to read out my note. I would write it down based off memory. And then I would just say it out loud a lot of times. So the way I studied was always talking to myself and I still do that. Like I always just, I think it helps me memorize stuff by saying it out loud again and again and again, because if you can memorize what you're saying, you're going to be golden on the test because most tests you see keywords and that's what helps you kind of get the answer. Like NCLEX styled stuff, you know, it's majority of the times you are stuck between two options. So there's always four choices. Usually that's how nursing school works too. They're based off the NCLEX styles. So you basically have to pick your answer and you cannot go back. That's for the NCLEX and for my nursing school. They prepped us in those exams. So during the test, you would have to know the answer and move on. And if you don't know the answer, you make an educated guess. But I would say majority of the times you're stuck between two options. And when you're studying and like saying things out loud and out loud and stuff like that, it kind of helps me memorize stuff for the test. So when I see a keyword, I'm like, wait, I was definitely talking about that at this day. And what was the slide I was reading? And for me, that's how I passed. I really, I really just memorized my slides, every single word saying it out loud, but everybody's different, but that is what helped me. Another thing I highly recommend, recommend, I'm sorry, is watching YouTube videos. So I would specifically watch three of them. I would always watch registered nurse RN. Her name's Sarah. She is so educational and so great. She's very detailed, sometimes too detailed in my opinion, um, but it is, she's really great. And if you're getting bored with just studying on your own time, I love watching her. The one that I watched a lot was Simple Nursing because I feel like they were also super educational, but they made their videos kind of not interactive, but like they made it a little bit more fun and enjoyable to watch than rather somebody just sitting there and talking like what I'm doing. And then the next one was Level Up RN. So she was another one that pretty much just sat there and talked kind of like how I am, but she was more short and to the point. She would just kind of give you the hot topics, which kind of like for the NCLEX, I watched a lot of her videos because I feel like the NCLEX hits on those hot topics. They don't hit on the stuff that's like so minor. The NCLEX wants you to know like interventions for common things like heart attacks and maybe, I don't know if that's as common in your hospitals, but like pulmonary edema and like I don't know. It just wants you to know those hard topics that like you should know as a nurse. So the last tip I have for passing nursing school is studying a little bit every day. So before nursing school, I would procrastinate. I would wait literally like a day or two before the exam and I would start studying and I would cram it in and I would do it. However, that does not work for nursing school. Nursing school is not memorizing stuff and you have to understand it. And I think that's the thing with nursing school is just because you memorize key points doesn't mean you understand what they're expressing. And I feel like like this has to do with all like the body systems and stuff like that. Just because you know about diabetes doesn't mean you actually understand the functions like of insulin and all of that other stuff, but basically studying a little bit every day so things don't build up because you can't procrastinate in nursing school. You have to do it a little at a time to be really successful and to really know it in your brain. So those are my studying tips for nursing school. You guys got this. If you're new to nursing school and you're worried, just keep going. You can do this. If you're not in nursing school yet, 
you got this as well. Like, I never thought I'd be one to even get into nursing school and graduate, and now I am a nurse for a year and a half. Like, if I can do it, you all can do it. And if you've just graduated nursing school, congratulations. That's so exciting. And these are my NCLEX studying tips for you all to use because I passed the NCLEX. Basically, I took the NCLEX two months after graduating nursing school. So I studied and I also worked full time um, during that as a RN in the operating room. I had an emergency graduate license in New Jersey because COVID was so bad. So they were taking at that point like nursing students to help them. But uh, I basically started my, sorry, I just got a few text messages, but I just started my job right after graduating. Two weeks after graduating, I started the job. Two months after graduating nursing school, I took the NCLEX. I passed on the first try at 75 questions and I only did these three things. And if you're interested, here you go. So, you world. UWorld is single-handedly the reason I passed the NCLEX. I feel like UWorld, it's expensive. And like if you have somebody to help you out or you can afford it or you have to work a few extra shifts, do it and buy it because that is the reason I passed. Wow. Like UWorld gives you all the questions NCLEX styled. They help you basically navigate what areas of the test you need to focus more on. They give you your strengths, your weaknesses, they give you all of these terminologies. They, UWorld is it. You need to buy UWorld. Like, I'm telling you guys, that is why I passed. So basically, what if you have UWorld and you're like, okay, like, now what? I recommend you do 150 questions per day. Now, that sounds like a lot, and it is a lot. It takes you, like, majority of the day, but I could do it after working my full-time job and squeeze it in. If I could do it, you can do it. So I recommend 150 questions a day. And after you're done with your questions, write down the ones you got wrong and, you know, study those every day until you take your NCLEX of like why you got them wrong and the actual knowledge behind the questions. So that can help you for your future exam. I think 150 questions a day is definitely something you should do because there's always a chance of you getting a lot of questions for your NCLEX. I don't really know how it works, but I know that uh, there's like people that are chosen, I guess. Maybe that's what I've heard, but like people that are just randomly selected to get the max amount of questions. Like I have a friend, she's so smart, but she had the max amount of questions for her NCLEX and she passed it. But I'm just saying like, and I forget what the max is now because I graduated almost two years ago at this point, but I think the max was like around like the high like 100s or whatever like that but basically 150 questions a day is what I recommend and it's nice if you get your NCLEX and you get those 75 questions and you're done because for me it was stressful but it ended up pretty going by pretty quick because I was doing 150 a day and then I had to take the NCLEX and I did 75 done so definitely UWorld is what helped me the most for studying for the NCLEX. The second thing I most highly recommend, if they still have it online, I think they do, you might have to buy it, but Mark Lamech Audio. So Mark Lamech was, I guess, a professor or something like that, but he made, I believe it was 10 videos or so about all these hard, heavy topics of nursing and what you need to nail down for that NCLEX. And for me, I just kept listening to him and listening to him and for his videos, I did write flashcards down because I just feel like it helped me for the NCLEX. Like I didn't really have any study materials besides the NCLEX style questions on UWorld and the Mark Lamech flashcards. And that's pretty much what I, I used to study. I would say like going on YouTube and watching those few um, basically channels that I talked about, like registered nurse RN, simple nursing, level up RN. Those helped as well, just to kind of get your brain moving, but they weren't like specifically catered to the NCLEX. So there was one video, it was by, um, here I wrote it, by Beautiful Nursing on YouTube. She had a one hour comprehensive NCLEX review. And I remember I watched that 
two days before the NCLEX and after I watched it I felt very confident that um, I would pass the NCLEX. So basically, if you are done with nursing school, get UWorld, watch Mark Klimek audios for two months, do that every day, and you will pass the NCLEX. You guys got this. If you're in nursing school, you can do this. Have faith in yourself. Stay positive, because I know it's stressful. If you are not in nursing school yet, you guys got this. Go freaking kill it out there. You're going to get into nursing school, and if you're about to take the NCLEX, you also got this. Like, you already did the hardest part, which is nursing school. Now you just have to pass that exam. And it's a huge exam, and it's the biggest exam of your life, and I know that's not making it better. But you got this. Like, you passed nursing school, now you have your NCLEX. One more exam, and you are done. So thank you guys for watching this video. Hope you are feeling more positive about nursing school or the NCLEX. You guys can do this. Thank you. Bye.